Hello everyone. So in this video, let us consider another example uh, of a matrix of where we will find the null space of it using Gauss elimination. And in this example, we will try to see the geometric uh, geometric representation of this null space. So let us consider the matrix A to be 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5. So this is a 3 cross 3 matrix. So the corresponding uh, system of linear equation x equal to 0 will be x1 plus x3 equal to 0, 2x2 plus 4x3 equal to 0 and uh, x1 plus 2x2 plus 5x3 equal to 0. So this is your system of uh, linear equation, uh, rather homogeneous system of linear equation. So, okay, so let us start uh, doing row operations on it to find the reduced row is known form. So, let us start with this matrix 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5. So, the first leading uh, element of the first row is already 1 and the second, uh, the element in the second row in first column that is already 0. So, we have to make this element which is in the third row and first column to be 0. So, we will do R3 minus R1. So, the first two row will remain as it is and the third row will become 0, 2, 5 minus 1 that is 4. So, as you are already seeing that the second and third row has become the same. Okay. So, let us uh, make this element, this leading uh, element in the second row to be 1. So, what we have to do? We have to do half into R2. So, we will get the first row will remain as it is. The second row will become 0, 1, 2. And the third row will remain as it is. Now, we have to make this element to be 0. Because the element in the first row, second column, that is already 0. So, we only have to do the element in the third row, second column. We only have to make this element to be 0. So, we have to make R3 minus 2R2. So, this will give us 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2 and 0, 0, 0. So, we are saying that the last row is become 0 and this is already in uh, reduced row s non form. So, from this we can say that in the first column, the leading there is a leading coefficient. So, x1 is a dependent variable. In second column also, there is a leading coefficient. So, x2 is dependent variable. But that is not the case for the third row. So, there is no leading coefficient. So, x3 is our independent variable. free variable. So, if I name this new matrix as R, then our new system of equation Rx equal to 0 will be of this form x1 plus x3 equal to 0 and x2 plus 2x3 equal to 0. So, it will give us x1 equal to minus x3 and x2 equal to minus 2x3. So, the null space as we have seen in the earlier example also, null space of A will be, and suppose I am taking x3 to be t, then our x1 will be minus t and our x2 will be minus 2t. So, uh, minus t, minus 2t and t such that t is in R is any real number. So, and our uh, this can be also written as a t into minus 1, minus 2 and 1 and t belongs to r. So, this is our null space. So, if we vary t, we will get defined vectors which are in the null space. So, this, this vector minus 1, minus 2, 1, this vector is basically uh, spans the null space. 
and uh, is it a single tensile so it is already linearly independent so this forms a basis so this is a basis of null space of a so clearly nullity of a is 1 and uh, the rank there are 1 0 row and 2 non zero rows so rank of a is 2 and uh, which is satisfying the rank nullity theorem rank of a plus nullity of a is 3 here in this example whereas the rank nullity theorem says that if a is a m cross a is an m cross n matrix then rank of a plus nullity of a equal to n here uh, n is 3 so we have verified the rank nullity theorem also now let us see the geometric representation of this null space what it says so if we want to uh, represent the system of linear equation in this r3 plane so we are taking uh, x1 as our x-axis i mean x-axis represents the variable x1 y-axis represents the variable x2 and z-axis represents the variable x3 then the first equation was x plus z equal to 0 which is this plane x plus z equal to 0 the second plane was the second equation was 2y plus 4z equal to 0 which is this plane so you are seeing that uh, these two planes are intersecting uh, in a straight line uh, which is passing through the origin and let us introduce the third equation which was x plus 2y plus 5z so it looked like this plane so you are seeing that all these three planes are intersecting at a straight line so this is the straight line where all the three planes are intersecting and so and it's passing through the origin so this straight line is a vector space and which is actually the null set null space of the matrix a and which is also the solution space of this three system of uh, this three linear equation so this is a one dimensional vector space as we have seen so this is the straight line and this straight line was represented by the null space we have already determined which was minus t comma minus 2t comma t where t is any real number thank you